as a tool. But when that light hits the sky, it's not just a call. It's a warning. Hey everyone, and we're back here for yet another instant review right after the movie. We have just seen The Batman. Uh, a lot of people are very excited about this. Joined by our friend Sam Watermeyer, Hey Richard, DC Bowling. Thanks guys for joining us. So why don't we just go right down the line here. Sam, I know you have been just absolutely anticipating this movie. What was your take? Uh, it was everything I wanted it to be. It was the detective drama that we've been promised for a long time and haven't really seen before. Um, I loved the, the film noir style, um, the detective narration. Um, I just, I absolutely loved it. Great. Nate, Nate's been posting every day. Here's how many days until Nate sees yes. Batman. Five, four, three, two, one. Now that number is zero. What was it for you? I really, really love this movie, but I also think that the internet is going to be a nightmare about it. Oh no. Yeah. Like, this is such a different, like, take. It's, I loved how it stood on its own from other incarnations of Batman. This doesn't feel like a Nolan. This also really does not feel at all like what Snyder did. I feel like this movie lie, relied less on, like, CGI and all of that, and even less on a little bit of the action and just focused on, like you were saying, a detective story. And was it a little predictable? Yeah, but I was still incredibly engaged. Do you see? Well, it was like my most anticipated movie of the year. Like, I said, every other comic movie. And uh, much, as a Batman fan I am, I really enjoyed it. Do I have to watch it again to really get a few pieces? Of course. But yeah. for what we got, Matt Reeves gave us like another, gave us a great begin one Batman movie. That yeah, I love how it's like you said, it was, it was more grounded than 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 the rest the other ones we've seen thus far. I love and when and when Nation wasn't in the forefront, you're still invested in like the whole mystery of what's going on. And even though the second act, this kind of the pacing is a bit on and off a little bit, I was still engaged. And I, I agree with you. Like, I don't think this will be as divisive as BBS, but I think it'll be slightly more. Possibly. Yeah, from yeah. My, my my take. If I, if I could describe the movie in two words, I would say gothic opera. Yeah. Uh, it, it felt like very much sort of vested in the history uh, of of Batman, but also I felt like I felt I saw some new things, some new takes. What did you think of Robert Pattinson as Batman? Um, I thought he was great. I loved. Uh, he was kind of like uh, emo Batman. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> he uh, and I. Matt Reeves, the writer-director, was inspired by Kurt Cobain, and I could definitely see that in his performance. Yeah, and some of the music I heard. Oh, right, yeah. yeah. And I'm a huge way. 90s uh, grunge fan, so the inclusion of uh, a Nirvana song really just, that was like a love letter to me, I felt. Um, but yeah, I love Robert Pattinson. Yeah, I love the, the eye black that Batman has to wear, which they sort of cheat around in the movies. They just have him show him wearing it yeah. when he's not Batman, because yeah, he still has to have it. Um, what about the Riddler? What did you guys think of the Riddler as the main villain? I I remember they first announced that Jonah Hill was going to play the Riddler. Oh, weird. And oh my God, that would have been a disaster. <laughs> and I'm so glad that Paul Dano was cast. I thought he was excellent. But it also really reminded me of his role in Prisoners. Yes. Oh, yeah. You don't see Paul Dano's face. They're even hiding it in the trailers. And they kind of built it up to be like a big reveal, like the Riddler's actual face. And it's not like, it's Paul Dano with yeah. glasses. Yeah. Yeah. But he's still incredibly intimidating, unhinged. They actually managed to make the Riddler scary. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What did you think of um, Zoe Kravitz as Selena Kyle? I'm, been, I'm always been like, for me, there's no one who could ever be, you know, Michelle Pfeiffer in Returns or in Hathaway in, in Dark Knight Rises, which a lot of people not a big fan of. I always loved her. I love Zoe Kravitz. She's one of the best actresses we have right now, and I think she was actually really good. I, w I wish there was a bit more action um, for her um, towards the latter half, but you know, she held her own against Pattinson in a lot of her scenes. She she killed. She crushed it. Yeah, it was an interesting relationship between the Catwoman and Batman in this movie. Yeah. It's 
you know, are they friends? Are they foes? They obviously work them together at some points. Is there going to be romance? Uh, Honestly, I thought that that was one of my favorite parts of the movie oh, yeah. was the relationship between yeah. Batman and Catwoman. Any uh, okay, I know you said you loved it, Sam, but yeah. any criticisms or, or anything that you think the people out there are going to react negatively to? Uh, I think people will complain about the length. I actually thought it moved at a at a good clip, um, I and I was with it the whole time. Um, I think uh, people will say, you know, that it's kind of been done before with the Nolan Batman movies. I think it's close to those, but I think the film noir element differentiates it enough. Um, and uh, I actually, you know, people said it would be too bleak, too grim. Um, I thought it had plenty of humor. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I'm fully prepared to defend it. Awesome. <laughs> All right, guys, any final thoughts on the, the Batman? I'll just echo what you said. Yeah. Like, there is, I feel like some people are already walking into this movie wanting to hate it, Mm. and they're just going to walk out hating it and being like, I was right all along, even though they already had their mind made up. There is humor, like you said. There's very, it's a different kind of humor than what we're used to in a lot of, like, the superhero movies. It's not the Marvel humor. It's not even the James Gunn kind of humor that we just saw in DC's last. It's not not quippy. No. No. It's very, very dark humor and very... Dry. It's a kind you kind of expect from a Batman movie. Yeah. yeah. All right, DC, uh, take us out. Are you looking forward to uh, the Batman two? Do you think we're going to see this as a franchise, or do you think this would work better as a one-off and just exist as its own? It's well, it's not going to bomb at the box office. That's for sure. Like, yeah. It, but hey, fans who are non-comic book fans will, will go out and see the Batman. Especially, especially me. Like, I'm going to see it again next Friday. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's also just like, even though like, again, like. Thing, that could change when I see it again, but it's but it's not gonna be a one-off Batman movie. No. Even even something as well, watch it. Well, all of them besides so maybe two hasn't been like the best received, and even if this isn't like, no, it will get like a very mixed response. Yeah, people are gonna go out and see it, and yeah. we've been hearing like so far that there is might be a sequel in development that they're in talks, and you're actually gonna bring Mr. Freeze. Yeah, Mr. Freeze. But if that could happen, I would love to see a, a good live action. Yeah, so I actually Mr. thought they were going to preview Mr. Freeze because there was a reference to the name of a club in the movie, but yeah. obviously oh, yeah. they're, they're hanging on to a little bit until next time. Well, guys, yeah. thanks for joining us. Uh, hope you're as excited as we are and everyone else is to see the Batman, and we'll check you out next time. Bye. Bye. Yeah.